Hey everyone, I'm Jessica, the potter behind Jess It Up Ceramics, and today we're going to brew a fresh cup of coffee inside of one of our handmade B60 pour overs. We're going to go step by step together. It's really simple and easy to do and makes a delicious cup of coffee. You'll find out more about where to purchase our products at the end of this video. You're going to want to start by getting a set of filters. Any cone filter will do great. Some common brands are Hario or Chemex. Here I'm using a Chemex square filter. If your filter has a size on it, you want to look for a three or a four. It just means it's taller. Pre-wetting your filter removes any residual paper tastes and also warms your mug before you start brewing. Just remember to dispose of the water in your mug before you start brewing. Next, you're going to add your favorite coffee. If you're using pre-ground coffee, about four to five teaspoons is perfect for a 12 ounce cup. If you're using whole beans, it's about four teaspoons. Always add a little more if you like a stronger cup or vice versa, it's totally up to you. Our next step is to start boiling up some water. I use 12 ounces of water to our four to five scoop ratio that we added to our V60. I'm using an electric kettle here, but if you have a kettle that goes on the stove, that's also great. Finally, we're going to start pouring our water into our grinds. You want to start with soft circular motions. What you want to do is pour a little bit of water in a circular motion and then wait and then pour a little more and then wait. I like to do this about three to four times, the first one being the smallest and the last one being the longest. Some tips for you on this step is to make this last between one and two minutes. Really take your time pouring this water. Another trick is to pour in the same circle the whole time and keep your pour level. Consistency is really key here. This step should take about four minutes to complete. The first two, you're spending slowly pouring your water, and the next two, your coffee's brewing directly into your mug. All the ceramic items that we use in this video are handmade individually on a potter's wheel. If you want to view our latest collection and shop ready to ship products, visit us at jessitup.com or follow us on Instagram at jessitup. There you can find out which pop-up market we're going to be at next. You can find all the links in the description below. If you want to get a little more technical with your brew, you can pull out a scale and measure your beans and your water. I use a 1 to 17 ratio of coffee to water. So for this, I have a 12 ounce cup and I use 20 grams of beans. The first pour is called the bloom. You want to pour 30 grams of water onto your grinds and let it sit for 30 seconds to saturate.
Your second pour will bring your scale to read 210 grams, and then your third pour will bring your scale to read 320 grams. That should happen between 30 seconds and a minute and a half, and then your third pour starts in a minute and a half. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more, give us a thumbs up and check out our web store. The link's in the description below. Thanks for watching.